Hey, what's going on, guys? So, um, just got this email uh, from Lyft. I used to use Lyft. Um, I haven't used them in quite some time now. But anyways, um, you know, they just continue to, to push that agenda and um, pushing the fear. You know, of course, there you say it's all for our safety and BS. You know, health is on all of our minds now more than ever. Right. <clears throat> As stay-at-home orders begin to lift, we're accelerating efforts to help safeguard riders and drivers. Today, we're launching a health safety program with new policies, commitments, and products designed to help protect our communities. Right. They're more like uh, suffocating our immunities and suffocating our oxygen with all these stupid safety masks, quote-unquote, all these stupid face coverings, walking to a Walmart, food for less, um, I went, actually, I went to two Walmarts today, and a Sprouts, and, uh, and a Stater Brothers, walked in with no face mask, um, I know, uh, at the Walmarts, they recommend it, of course, um, but, you know, everyone there is looking at me like, hey, who's this guy with no mask? You know, food for less, I think they require it, but I just walked in, um, like, you know, <laughs> what are you going to do? And if anybody was going to ask me anything, I was going to tell them it was my, it's a health condition and the face mask, uh, inhibits my health, you know? Anyways, um, self-certification, a commitment to health. In order to use Lyft, you and every driver will soon be required to confirm that you're COVID-19 symptom-free. Commit to following CDC and local health regulations and take precautions like sitting in the back seat and opening windows when possible. <laughs> uh, face coverings will be required because we're all sellouts to the government and the face covering is like we're showing our allegiance to be silent and not protest and not say anything to the government because they are completely 100% worried about our safety and care about us so much. 100% they will never lie to us about this virus. The CDC recommends the use of cloth face coverings to slow down the spread of virus. <laughs> Ah, uh, such BS. And starting later this month, drivers and riders will be required to wear face coverings to use Lyft. Ah, uh, this is just more BS. And, um, it's just gonna be, um, uh, universal as far as these masks and... You just got to stay strong and not wear one. And even if you're the only one in a crowd, don't wear the mask. You know, voice up. Tell people what's up. The virus is a hoax. The virus is fake. You know, this is all a tool to spread the fear. Um, anyway, so... You know, as more we go on, as far as uh, lifting the lockdown, the the more they're just going to push these masks and push the social distancing and all the other BS to continue to instill the fear in us and to make us so, you know... Afraid to talk to somebody, so afraid to interact with somebody, so afraid to get near somebody, you know, it's just sad, very sad. Anyways, guys, I uh, just wanted to uh, put this out there. I'm frustrated, and if you're like me, you're frustrated. But anyways, take care, guys, and God bless.